And welcome to everybody and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, it's going to be an exciting session just for you to understand the wonderful opportunity that Appermat Iron Ore has given all of you. Um, Unfortunately, Afrimat, uh, Naledi from Afrimat was unable to join. She's just on leave at the moment um, uh, going for a course, but um, she takes a lot of pride in what she does. And I'm sure you all know that by now, she uh, really puts a lot of time and effort. So at the end of the day, this couldn't be done without them. So we just also want to acknowledge and thank them for their sponsorship to assist all of the businesses, part of this group to achieve more things within your businesses. At the end of the day, we wanna see and help you grow. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly go through a brief introduction about smart procurement. So ultimately how it works is Afrimat um, has reached out to us and asked us to support them in their role to assist SMMEs. So they have asked us to just use our resources and our platform that we have, which is well established, to assist SMMEs through multiple areas. And I will go through what that will entail. Okay, so just a little bit about smart procurement. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Smart procurement has a holding company, is part of a holding company called Commerce Edge South Africa. The main basis of this company and their main focus is uh, within training. So they are um, SIPs accredited. They're the largest study center within South Africa. And from that, we wanted to make use of um, other areas within the company to um reach a larger audience and that is when we have established smart procurement um smart procurement the main basis of the business or the main reason that it started years 17 years ago was for the absa uh, in darber event that happens at the end of the year in september um this it's the largest procurement conference that takes place in south africa and you have a, a roughly about 1600 participants from procurement businesses large corporate businesses that participate and two years after the first show they realized the need to incorporate and include smme's part of this program as well and um so that is when the absa esd event started so ultimately these conferences run simultaneously um over two days in september and it gives an opportunity for smme's to divulge in uh conference content relating to SMMEs gives networking opportunities as well as, as various other elements. All right, so we're gonna be taking you through a journey, a journey of assisting your business to grow. Ultimately, market access is the main focus. Some timelines, just so that you can understand from when till when this program will run. It's March now, so we're going to kick off with elements in March which first starts off uh, simultaneously, we'll start off, sorry, with buy introductions and linkages, and then as well, clinic consulting sessions. I'll go in a little bit more detail in the next slides about each element so that you understand your role in those elements. Um, after that, or not after that, but this week actually starting is uh, the bi-weekly SMME masterclasses. I'm not sure if any of you are on the SMME clinic website as yet. If not, I will be, will be adding you uh, to the WhatsApp group. We'll be receiving links and additional information about other opportunities that you can uh, take advantage of when you have the opportunity. And then we have our virtual supply matchup sessions. Now those start in May. Sorry, I see my date is wrong. Yeah, I'll fix that before I send it out. But they're the first one starts in May. Those are online sessions where you businesses basically come and present about their procurement procedures that you can understand and know that when you want to do business with these companies, this is how to go about it. Then big events that you are able to participate in. The first one is actually happening tomorrow. So um, it's up and understand businesses, SMME businesses, time is money, and you can't always take your way out yourself out of the business for a full day, which is happening tomorrow. But if you can, I'm straight after the session, I'm going to be sending you an email 
which will have a registration link as well as the program of the day. So you're welcome to have a look at the program and see if there's any specific elements that you would like to participate in. It's free to participate in this. You do not pay for it. All you have to do is register on the link that I will be sharing with you and you can join at your convenient time. There's also going to be what we call supplier matchup sessions throughout the day. And I'll just go into a little bit more about how it works at this specific event because it is a bit different to how our other events look like. Then in September, that's a day that you need to keep in the back of your mind, is when we have our um, in Darbury event that I mentioned briefly earlier. I will go into a bit more information about specific dates and your role and how you participate in that. And then our final uh, event that happens next year in February. Um, I will also just go in a little bit more feedback information about that element. All right, so that's just highlighting all the elements again. Now to start with linkages. So what happens is the first phase of linkages is ultimately I share with you um, emails of businesses that you have indicated you want to do business with. So when I say that, it means that the link that I originally shared on the first email, which was the invitation to today's session, um, there was a request for you to complete your online profile. Now, that is only due next week, so that's not a problem if you haven't done that yet. Um, but what I need on there, it asks a question, list companies that you would like to do business with. And that is where I find the information to start the linkage. So you give me an indication of about five companies that you think would your business would be able to work with or that you want to work with. And then what I do is I share the links to those companies' portals, um, registration vendor portals, if you're not already a, a vendor of these. And you have the opportunity to register to become a vendor. Once you complete that process, um, you let me know and I will do a formal introduction of your business with the documentation that you submit part of your online profile. So you upload um, a company, uh, a business profile for your company that gives an understanding of how your, what your business does, what services or products you offer, um, and a bit of insight into your company. Um, I, I send your BE affidavit or certificate, whichever you have, and then also your CIPC registration certificate so that they have confirmation and the confidence that your business is valid and registered. So I send all of that, um, but it helps a lot if you are a registered vendor. Now, that's why we start this process pretty early in the program, because sometimes there is a period of verification that takes place. So it can take a little bit longer for you to receive feedback from the companies that you register with. So we do give a bit of leeway. Um, it will give us almost 11 months to, you know, for, for this process to take place. And as soon as you get confirmation to say, okay, your business has been confirmed as a vendor, you are registered. You go and say, Paulina, this company is confirmed, I'm registered and I action and, and do the introduction after that. All right, um, but just to let you know, what we do like to do is we like to give more. We don't just focus on only the five businesses that you send. We like to give more opportunities for you. So you will receive email an email with a multitude of businesses in the same industry as the ones that you have asked for. So if you're asking for mining specific businesses, then you will receive an email with not just the mines that you have asked for, but for multitudes of them. Um, and then we can, you know, we can expand into any industry. So don't feel limited to looking at the most popular industries. Look at what the needs of your business are when you complete your online profile and that specific question. Okay, so if a business ultimately comes back and says they're interested in doing business with you, they want to chat with you, then they would, you know, between organizing a, just a telephone call with you that they want to just go through a couple of information to confirm with you what's going, you know, your business and your current opportunities or your current business uh, processes anything then they could do a phone call they might even do a whatsapp call um or they could want to meet you face to face at any one of our events that's happening throughout the year so don't you know that is also an opportunity for you to actually pitch your own business to the companies all right so i mentioned by the bi-weekly master classes so these are actually open to the public. Any SMME is able to participate in, and uh, watch these masterclass videos. Um, our, our opportunity is to put you on the platform. So we put you on the masterclass 
uh, WhatsApp group and you receive the links, but we also make additional effort to make sure that, you know, everybody is aware of the upcoming sessions and that you make sure that you have a slot in your calendar. So these are just the, the subjects up until the 20th of June. So these are very much strategically planned to target SMME businesses. So it's applicable, it's information that you can action into your business as you're watching the masterclass or it's things that you can implement into your business over a period of time. It depends what works for you as an individual. But please don't think that this is just a log in and watch session. It's interactive. They love to hear from the, uh, the audience. They love to hear questions. They love to be challenged. And you know, if there's any subjects that you haven't, that have not been covered, you are really welcome to share your feedback to say, is there a session about this? On top of that, we have a website and I will share that link with you as well, where you can go and view past sessions. So for instance, two weeks ago, we had a session with um, Lorna Ernst. She is a, a BE boffin, if I can say it like that. She is an SMME herself. And she shared tips on how to make sure that your BE affidavit is completed in a manner that businesses will, that, you know, it's compliant to what different businesses need, depending on your business industry. So if you want to, you're welcome to go into that video the library I'll put specifics on how to get there and you can go and look for that session and you can watch it at leisure all sessions are recorded so on the day if something comes up and you're unable to join that session you receive the recording thereof so don't don't worry if you're unable to participate immediately but your live participation really does count a lot for showing your active participation in the full program all right, supply matchup sessions. So I mentioned that there's various ways that these take place. So I'll go through all of them. I'll start with tomorrow's session. Tomorrow is an online platform. Um, so what happens on this online platform is it's a, a, a website or a program called Floor. You don't have to worry. You receive your login link. You can click on it and it will take you there. There's nothing complicated about how you access the Floor. Um, but on there, there is a, a special option called supplier matchup, and that will take you to an area, sort of a virtual lounge, where there will be virtual tables for different businesses that have that want to engage with suppliers. Some of them are businesses that are within Africa that want to source from within South Africa. Some might not be applicable to you, but that doesn't matter. Your opportunity is to engage. You can take a virtual seat by literally clicking on one of the chairs at this table and that will ask, do you want to take a seat? You take a seat and it's like a conversation that we could have. You see the other person and there's a certain amount of seats. And if there's four people, then you can be part of the conversation with four people. And you know how the how the, these companies do it is they give everybody an opportunity to ask questions, to pitch their business. It, it depends on who's hosting that table. So it's, an, it's a networking opportunity. There is also uh, SMME to SMME networking tables structured by company. So, you know, any, uh, not company, my apologies, by industry. So you can also go and sit at those networking tables and engage with SMMEs within your industry, or you can go to a table of an industry that you would like to collaborate with. So find out if there's other businesses if in the event you have a project and your business can fulfill a certain portion, but you need to collaborate with another SMME to fulfill another portion of that business, that is another platform for you to be able to do that. Okay, so that's tomorrow's session. So the session runs from half past eight until about four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but if you register today, you will receive communication that will tell you what times different buyers from different companies will be part of the supply matchup. So you can strategically place your, you know, uh, say, okay, so one business is there from nine to 11. So I'll log on at, you know, if you're not interested in participating in the conference and only in the supply matchup, you're welcome to. And sorry, just want to admit um, a new participants. So 
you know, you can join only to participate in the supply matchup as well. It's two totally separate run elements within the same program. So you won't get lost. You can just go to the supply matchup, choose a table, engage with one buyer. When you're done with that buyer, you can leave that table and you can go to another one. You can engage with as many as you would like. And that is the opportunity to pitch your business. Maybe it's a company that you're already doing business with and you have to query something. Maybe you have registered to be a vendor, but you're, you haven't... Uh, gotten confirmation or you haven't received any communication from them whatsoever, then that's an opportunity to engage with them. All right. So that's our first supplier matchup for tomorrow. Um, please don't feel pressure to participate. I know it's last minute. So if you're not able to attend, it won't be held against you at all. It's just an additional opportunity. And that's why I wanted to raise it so that you have that, you know, you're in the know of what's going on and you have your business has another opportunity to participate. All right, so that's uh, tomorrow. Then um, our next supplier matchup will be an online one in May, the 15th of May, but we'll share a bit more uh, information about that. What we do is we str strategically place these online supplier matchups and we, we uh, strategize by focusing per industry. So we will find buying companies within the industries that we have chosen to help SMMEs know to specifically block that date. We usually do only about two hours in the morning, depending how many buyers. But how it works is a buying company, let's say for instance, last year we had Moolmans. So Moolmans came, they had a 30 minute slot. They started the first 15 minutes with um, an interview process where we ask strategic questions about how their procurement works. Um, and afterwards we, do I have an opportunity for Q&A and that's when the audience is able to raise questions and chat to Mulman's procurement about specific things. So if it's to understand how tenders work, if it's to understand what mines they actually work on, what is their role within the mining world, then, you know, that's the right platform for that. And then after 30 minutes, we shift on to the next buyer. And we do that and we, we generally limit it to about four buyers uh, in one day so that it doesn't take too much time out of your day. If there's only two buyers, then it's only one hour. It just depends on how many buyers we can secure. So that's the, in, that's the online sessions. So they just to recap, they run from May once a month until November. Then in September, we have our in-person event. So you can feel very proud and sponsor as uh, privileged because AFRIMAT is sponsoring this cohort of 11 businesses to travel to Joburg, to stay in a hotel, and then to participate in the two-day conference event. I will give you a lot more clarity about the dates of your trap, you know, at the, the dates that you would check into the hotel. Ultimately, you make your own travel arrangements, but there is just an opportunity for them to assist with the cost thereof. But as I said, I'll give you a lot more information about that a bit closer to the time. The dates of the conference, let me just double check my calendar before I give you the wrong dates. September, it will be Tuesday the 10th and Wednesday the 11th of September. Um, and basically the first day is a closed event only for hosted SMMEs such as yourself and then the Wednesday is a visitor day where we allow um, a lot more SMMEs to join for just the one day. There is a, an in on-site supply matchup where we get multiple businesses from government as well as private sector and you can speak to them face to face. Now, one thing to remember about these face-to-face -face opportunities is that you need to pitch your business in a quick fashion so that they can remember you. You can give the, you know, you can, if you have the funds there, don't feel any pressure. I'm just giving tips on what you can think of between now and September is you can give a little flyer um, of your business so that that's something they can take with them. You can, uh, if you have a keychain of your business, if you, um, it's really not expected. I'm just saying that sometimes to become top of mind 
for these businesses and not to forget you. It's always good to try and do something a little bit outside of the box so that when they walk away, because they will engage with lots of SMMEs. Our target is trying to have at least over 300 SMMEs present at this event, and that's only the closed event. Visit today, you'll exceed over additional 600 SMMEs. So don't forget that, but it's an amazing opportunity for you to engage with the buyers one-to-one. -one. So the, the plan that we have is to have two supplier matchup sessions, one on a part of the closed day on the Tuesday, where only hosted SMMEs can engage with the buyers. And then day two, then you have the opportunity to engage with the vendors, uh, not the vendors, my apologies, with the visitors, where you can you know, sell your business to the, the other business, the SMEs that come to their visit today. All right, so just think of that. And if you have an opportunity to get any somebody to assist you with marketing collateral that you want to hand out to the visitors on visit today, to you please do that. Um, we have to... Just verify the elements of your exhibition within the event. So that I will clarify for you um, whether it's going to be in a lounge setup like we had last time, which is, you know, sort of a, maybe I have a photo I'll show you just now, but basically a lounge setup is where there's um, a tower, sort of a, a long rectangular tower where you have a TV on one side where you can play company videos and on the other side is a place for you to slot in uh, business pr profiles or flyers or something that people can go and take um, and then you're able to have some things around this the lounge area and you can use that as a space to engage with people smmes procurement professionals it, it doesn't matter um, or if you'll actually get an exhibition stand of three by two meter uh, what do you call it a uh, a frame, a structured frame, but I have to confirm that element first, but I will let you know how that will go. So don't stress about that, but just think about what marketing collateral could benefit your business for that event in the meantime. It gives you enough time to think of that. Okay, so that's the three different types of smart uh, supply, map, supply matchup programs that we have. The final supply matchup, let me just see if I put dates here. Okay, right. So here's the calendar. I am sharing this presentation with you. So don't feel the need to write down dates as such. I am going to share this with you that you can have a reference to look at. So these are the different uh, events happening and the different industries that we'll be focusing on for each online supply matchup. The one date that's not listed on here, and that's just because I didn't have space, is next year, February, we have our closing event. Um, but that event is only if you're able to come up. Unfortunately, there is no sponsorship for travel or accommodation for that specific event um, because that's, it's at a much smaller scale. Um, this year, we had 10 buying companies and just over 100 SMMEs joined. So it's much smaller than what happens in September. But if you find yourself in Joburg and you are able to participate, you're free to do that. It's just another added option for you. Okay, but don't feel that you need to move mountains to be here and put yourself in a difficult financial position. All right. Um, so what we also have, just as a point of, you know, something nice to know, is we have a history of supplier matchup videos that we will share with you. So if there's other companies that you want to look at how, you know, to register as a vendor, how to look for tender opportunities, how their procurement works, I'll share a list of uh, with links of different pres presentations that happened over the last years. All right, so now another element which I am very excited about. I love this element within the program. I think it is the most impactful element that we can offer. And it is something what we call the, the clinic voucher system. So ultimately you go, you submit a needs and we call it a needs analysis questionnaire and ultimately it's just for us to understand what are your pain points inside your business so what is elements that you're not specifically strong on so are you really good with marketing are you really lacking in maybe financial elements within your business is there maybe a cost effective way that you can change the way that you're doing things uh, maybe it's to do with your financial programs or your uh, cost 
costing process of what you sell. So there's, you know, it, it, it's uh, just a question for us to understand what elements within your business can we assist you on to improve? After you submit that questionnaire, our program director, her name is Almarie Hoerson, she chats to you to go through that and just to understand what is the main focus point that we can start with. So if you say, you know, your social media is non-existent and you think that's one area that you can focus on, but during the interview, the first most important, you know, they raise a more important point process, you know, a more important element that must first be implemented or changed or looked at in order for the business that you could get from successful social media to actually be good business, you know, that you can actually follow through with that business and make a profit out of that business. Anyway, that's just an example. But you will be given vouchers that you can utilize. And part of what it needs to be submitted by the 20th of March, I haven't sent it yet, I'm gonna send it after this, is that needs analysis questionnaire. It's really, it takes maybe two minutes to complete. Please um, have that to us so that we can also start that process. We like to, our focus is to finish those clinic sessions by June. Because there's a lot of pressure on the September events in Indaba, we like to make sure that you're fully equipped and can participate in the um, exhibitor briefing sessions and some online sessions that we have closer to the time. And if you're still full blast with your um, consulting sessions, it limits your availability. Right, but these sessions that you have with the consultant take place online. So you work one on one with the consultants. Sometimes they'll ask you to say, share some of your company documents. They might ask you to share whatever they need to get an understanding of how that specific process works within your business. Um, and then from there, they put a strategy together on how each session will be targeted to address each element of that, of, of, the, of the, the focus of the program, of your clinic vouchers program. Um, and then ultimately, we also want to know how successful that was. So there will be an opportunity for you to give feedback on if you're happy with how it went and also feel free if at any point in your clinic sessions you don't feel that the consultant is a good fit or that the subject matter is applicable, you're really welcome to reach out. Ultimately, I want to make sure that you get the most out of this program. I want to help you make it as successful as it can be. So please don't feel free or don't, yeah, I said that very wrong. I said, I mean to say, please feel free to reach out to me on WhatsApp at any time. Um, I will be adding you to the WhatsApp group. So you will have access to my number and it's also on the bottom of my email. So please get in touch with me at any point um, for whatever questions you may have. So basically the process is you select your training, and then you will get explained how the process will work. So when will the consultant engage with you and how long each session will be? It's usually one hour long at a time just to make it easier on you as a business. And then ultimately you can immediately implement those elements that you learn from each session into your business. All right, so one big benefit from the September event is the fact that your business gets listed in the show guide. So we listed by industry um, as well as by host company, just so that businesses can easily look up your business. Um, Industry-wise is one of the, the most effective ways for us to list it. So when you are submitting your online profile, things that you have to consider is the logo. The logo that you submit for your company needs to be a... Um, you know, not a blurry logo. It needs to be high quality enough that it's visible on this program. And number two, the description of your company. Um, you cannot put something just to say that you're a 100% a black owned level 1B business that specializes um, with working with clients. That doesn't give me any information about what you do. You need to say we've, we are a specialist engineering company that works within the mining sector. We can service A, B, and C. We can offer parts for A, B, and C. Very short and sweet, but it has to give a full understanding of what your business does or what your service offering is. You do not have to mention there your BEE level. You do not have to mention your ownership status. It is really just about the basis of what your business does. So we, we say around 50 words 
um, is sufficient, but it's just to say, let's say for instance, uh, Smart Procurement is a market access company and we, we focus on is helping SME businesses thrive. Short, sweet, to the point. Right, it doesn't have to be that short. You can make it a bit longer, but all I'm saying is just think about it clear, to make your business clearly re identifiable so that businesses don't go, I've got no idea what this is. Because oftentimes they will just say, they don't have the time to go and reach out and ask those questions. You need to have the information easily available to them. Right, and this is shared with over 600 people. Every participant at the event receives the show guide. Last year we had it as uh, we went. We had a going green of a pro project part of it, so we we had it as a virtual option. Um, but this year I believe we will be handing out physical documents. I stand to be corrected, but I think that is the aim because not everybody enjoyed the online version. Okay, so at the September event on the first day, which is the closed day, no visitors allowed. Is um, oh sorry, I went. The wrong way. No. Go back. Um, there we go. Where am I? Here. My apologies about that. Okay. So on the first day, the morning of is what we call the Smart Supply Conference. So this is a conference dedicated only to SME audience. And um, we're going to try and make it a little bit more fun. Um, and engaging. So the program itself, I won't be able to share with you right now. That will do a bit closer to the time once we finalized it. But it's opportunity for you to engage um, with speakers. And most of the speakers are SMMEs themselves. Last year, we also had the ESD team from ABSA to part that participated, which was great, very insightful. Sometimes there's people that have funding, you know, they, they want to be able to assist with funding uh, for some SMMEs. So it's a really great opportunity to, to get that. Um, and yeah, the, the presentations that they share are available for those that want it. Uh, we are looking at a recording option as well, but that hasn't been finalized yet. And we'll share all of that information with you at towards closer to September. September. Sheesh. My tongue is getting very tired today. So this is just an overall view of the elements. Um, I did go through supply matchup, the SMME clinic, which is the masterclasses and the clinic sessions. Um, the Smart Supply Conference. Another thing that we have is what we call the SMME Help Desk. And ultimately how it works is that there's desks allocated to specific specialists in certain areas. So last year we had 14 different subjects of professionals and some is some like about tax compliance. Some is about BEE, understanding BEE affidavits or how to get BEE compliant or something like that. Others is about sales tactics. Others is about financial elements. So it's really hands-on uh, information that you can speak to specialists within the field that actually do those things for a living. That's their business. And another one um, is a buy local market. So I have to get a better understanding of how this will work this year. But what we do have is on the evening of the first day, we have a cocktail networking function. And this creates a lot of vibe between SMMEs as well as procurement professionals. Everybody attends the event together. There's some entertainment, there's some food, there's drinks. And it's all about getting to know each other and networking as much as possible and trying to just make the most of the opportunity while you're in the area and have the opportunity to engage with everyone. Okay, so we're almost finished, don't worry. I'll be finished before 12 o'clock, I know. <laughs> it can be a bit monotonous to listen to someone the whole time. So your responsibility as a participant in the program is you need to make sure that I get your online profile. Um, and then when we ask for feedback about certain elements, so after an SMME, what, uh, SMME, sorry, a supply matchup session. We will ask you to give us a feedback on the businesses that we hosted. So not everybody might be applicable to your business specific, but it's to understand where we can improve or what businesses we can target next. next. Um, but we, we ask for feedback strategically. So it's about the supply matchups, any events that we host. So in Darba is another one. And then the program feedback itself. So from today until next year, February, where the last supply matchup takes place, 
we like to get an understanding of how your businesses has been impacted. So it includes all elements. All right, so then initiative. This is where your participation is necessary. So it is necessary for you to make it a priority to attend most of the elements within the program. We really understand SME businesses and that you are often a one-man show and that often all elements are falling on your shoulders. So we understand that it's not always possible. However, if you have the opportunity to get a team member from your company to participate with you in the program, then that responsibility can be shared. So you can choose, you know, your sales rep can maybe be involved with the supplier matchups. Um, and, you know, I, I personal opinion is I think the clinic session should be with you one on one, because that's really in depth into your business. But when it comes to the other elements, you can nominate another team member because it's also a learning opportunity for them. So don't um, feel the, all the pressure only on your shoulders. If you have resources that you can utilize to help you, please make use of them. If you want me to add additional people to the WhatsApp group so that they also get the information, please, I will. Uh, you're welcome to WhatsApp me directly. I'm happy to help you. So, um, but I'll, I will put it all on the group when I start the WhatsApp group. So you'll know this is my number and you can just message me privately. Okay, and then yeah, it just says be there, which refers back to your participation and then networking. Please don't underestimate SME to SME networking opportunities. We have heard amazing things that have happened because collaboration opportunities arose. So at the SME masterclass sessions every second Thursday, you know, opportunities sometimes arise where they can do a little bit of a networking opportunity. Sometimes they'll ask you to put your company details in the chat. SMEs watch that and they go, you know, they'll even ask you in the chat, you know, um, Johannes, please, can you share me your contact details or, you know, can I reach out to you via email? You know, that has happened so much. So even if you're just there for the networking and not maybe for the content, either way works. It will benefit you in some way. It's yeah, just... Don't un downplay it. I've really heard amazing things from SMME supporting each other to go on to multi-million rand ventures. So just take a note of that. All right. So this is the last of it. Um, so the 20th of March is the deadline. It is for your online profile as well as your needs analysis questionnaire. Those are the most two most important things that I need from you right now. Well, by the 20th. And then I just wanted to say with you, to you that the opportunities for you to grow line your hands, attend the sessions made available to you, learn more about marketing your business right and who to market your business to, securing deals and increasing your profit. Help us help you grow and be a successful entrepreneur. Yeah, sorry, my screen was hidden there. So as much as what we can make the opportunities available to you and to your business, you need to want to also take advantage and participate in those opportunities. We have a lot of resources. Don't, uh, you know, just because it might not look interesting to you, it doesn't mean that it will have, it will not have value for you. If a business, let's say, for instance, let me take pick and pay as a random company, let's say Pink and Pay is doing a supplier matchup and you say, well, I don't want to do business with Pink and Pay. I'm not interested in Pink and Pay. But in that supplier matchup, Pink and Pay raises to say that they're actually looking for engineers to assist them for project A, B, and C. And you are an engineer that associated Pink and Pay with FMCG products. And you thought my business is not applicable to that you might be listening, missing out on an opportunity. Um, if you're thinking of facility management companies and you only work within the mining sector, they might have a contact or an opportunity for someone that works within mining because they know they work for a business that is looking for someone. You know, So it cannot be maybe directly with them, but it can be an opportunity through them with another company that can benefit you. So that's just my two cents about it. It's really, we, when you participate and take it serious and you want to grow your business, that is when things happen. If you sit back and wait for things to land on your lap, that is when we find that it is, you know, we, do, we don't see as high of a success rate. So um, it's just from personal experience. Um, but 
for those of you that have joined us today. It shows a lot of dedication and appreciation for the opportunity. I'm also sure a lot of us curiosity about what it all entails, but I just at the end of the day, we really want to help you and walk with you every step of the way to make it successful. So please, um, after this, even now, if you want to, you're welcome to raise questions. You're welcome to uh, make comments. If there's anything unclear, if I went over anything too quickly, please feel free to, to raise a question. I'm happy to answer that for you. Um, Boitemelo, I saw your comment. I will be adding you to the... The masterclass whatsapp group it's not a problem i generally get your contact information from the profile the online profile that you complete so i generally take the mobile number from that fold uh, from that file uh, that profile oh i don't know how to pronounce that but anyway from that thing i take the mobile number and that is what i use as my main point of contact but uh, Bortomela, i've got your number i will save that one not a problem um, but as soon as I have everybody's profiles, I'll start, you know, gradually start to the, the WhatsApp group. So if it hasn't happened this week, don't worry. The WhatsApp group will be by next week uh, after everybody has uh, submitted their profiles. I have, just to make it easier for you, on the email that I'm going to be sending out, I have got the link to Thursday's Smarts, uh, the masterclass session. So you can just register on that Zoom link. Um, you can register today if you want to, and then it will send you an email with the link to join for Thursday morning. Okay, but I am hosting Thursday, so you'll see my face again. You might get a bit irritated with me because I like to over-communicate a lot of things to make sure everybody is in the know. I send emails when I communicate, and I like to duplicate it on WhatsApp as well to make sure everybody is aware. So sometimes it will be a duplication of information. And sometimes if the email is too long, then I will just put a message on the group to say, I have sent an email. Please go have a look. Okay. So now I've done all the talking. I'm even tired of my own voice. So if there's anybody that has questions or comments or would like to know anything, for those that have joined late, um. I will share the presentation as well as this recording. So I am recording it and I will make sure that you get the recording. You can go through the whole session. Um, Johannes, you're asking about does the program at the end include any financial assistance from Afrimat, like a grant that you need to engage with Naledi directly. So we focus on the market aspect element of this program and the training through the, the, the clinic voucher system. So if you're looking for financial assistance, you're welcome to reach out to Naledi and say, you know, you're welcome to contact her now or later towards the end of the year after you have participated, you know, shown participation and appreciation for the program uh, to show your dedication and that you appreciate the sponsorship. Then you can reach out to Naledi and say, you know, this is the opportunity. If it's for a specific business opportunity, this is how we would like to get assisted. But at the end of the day, if they're not in the position, they could be contacts within the SMME clinic that might be able to assist you. So try your host company first and ask what opportunities there are. And alternatively, then, you know, you let me know what you're, what you're looking for. You know, what is the financial um, assistance aimed at? What do you want to achieve with that? So is it to buy equipment? Is it to fulfill a contract? What do you need the money? What's the purpose of it? And then we can see if there's other contacts that can perhaps assist you. Okay, does anybody else have a question? You're welcome just to go off mute and to, to pose your question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, John Pedro, I, it could just be that when you join the session, uh, okay, I'll respond to John Pedro when in the comment section. Um, and then Philadelphia, I'd love to know if that's your name or the company name. Because <laughs> it's a beautiful name. Either way, I like it. Um, yeah, Philadelphia is my name. Oh, I like that name. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad that it was informative. But if at any point throughout this program, something is unclear and you're uncertain of something, please, I'm here. I am your go-to person. And um, don't feel that you will be irritating me. 
please, I want to make sure that everybody is on the same page. All right. If there's anything, any other questions that anybody would like to ask, you're welcome to do so. All right. If there is nothing, I take it that it was clear, um, if all the elements and um, as things come. So before the the supplier matchup session in May, I will share a little bit of training with you. Um, so it's just a thirty minute video that we did to give you understanding of how you can benefit from supplier matchup. Um, how you can prepare for it, and then uh, we will also be sharing. A pitch training video. So ultimately, it's how you can also create your own pitch video um, for a business and also a way that you can practice to pitch your business at an event like at the September event or other opportunities that you may have. So if you do have an opportunity to attend another event in the year that is not maybe associated with us, but is, um, you know, something that you're free to join do so please any opportunity for your business is a good opportunity and um you know it'll give you an opportunity just to boost your business a little bit by how to pitch it correctly so we will be sharing all of that with you um that's just additional training but that won't be a live session like this this will be a youtube video that we have created that you can watch at your own time all right Okay, what to mail or to pitch my business actually. Okay. Yeah, that's ultimately what that video will help you with to pitch your business. Um, Johannes, can we contact you directly when we need to? Yes, you're welcome to contact me directly. When I sent the email today with the with the contacts, you're welcome to WhatsApp me directly. Um, I'm going to only start the WhatsApp group as soon as everybody has submitted their online profiles, just so that it's a once off share of communication and not a bit redundant or ongoing and monotonous for those that are joined earlier. Okay, so Boitomelo, John Pedro, I will share John Pedro the information just now. So you want to join the Indaba and support in September. So I will give you a bit of information about how September event in Darbo will work, how the sponsorship with Afrimat is structured. Um, so, you know, we will bring you up to Joburg and you'll be able to stay over. I believe it's two or three nights. I have to just confirm. And you can participate in the full two days. Um, so, but there you have an opportunity to network and that's how you pitch your business. So maybe if you want to, we can take that conversation offline to understand what you mean to say you want to present your business idea. So you can just maybe reach out to me on email with a bit more information and then I'll gladly make sure that we're on the same page and respond to you. Okay, but just to make sure, well, so that we don't all... Um, Hang around for another 10 minutes. I just want to give a last opportunity for comments or questions. Otherwise, if there is none, then I'm happy to end this and everybody can get back to the important jobs that we have to do. All right, I see there's not, nothing. Um, I'm in the chat box, I don't see any new comments. So, um, Again, those that joined a little bit later, we will be sharing the recording of this, the entire recording with you. So you're welcome to go and watch the beginning portions that you may have missed on. I will be sharing an, uh, an email with the links to the SMME clinic history, the video library, so that you can go and look at some masterclasses if you want to. I'll be sharing links of past supply and matchup sessions that you can go and watch that could be useful to your business. Um, I'll be sharing the registration link for tomorrow's Made in Africa event and the link to register for Thursday's masterclass session. So it's just everything will be in the email and you can join and participate as soon as you have the freedom to do well, if you can do so, if you can fit it in your, your very busy schedules, we would appreciate that. Okay, this is my contact. I'm leaving it on the screen if anybody wants to reach out to me today. 
you're welcome to grab my number or my email, which you should have my email anyway, but you're welcome to, to use that as um, and reach out to me. Please do. All right, but otherwise, thank you everybody for joining. I'm really excited for this next couple of months that we're going to be working together. I'm hoping that we will see wonderful success stories out of the group of businesses that have had opportunities. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I'm so grateful that I'm able to work with you guys and I'm very happy and excited that Afrimat Iron Ore has made this opportunity available to you. And please, I'm here every step of the way. I wanna make sure you are confident and happy about the process that's going forward. So please feel free to reach out. But otherwise, thank you so much. Hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I hopefully will see you between tomorrow and Thursday at all our other sessions happening. <laughs> but thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day.